So to divide fractions, what we want to do is end up multiplying by the reciprocal of the fraction that occurs after the division sign. So for example, in, ex in example one, or example A, um, the fraction immediately after the division sign is six over eight. So we're gonna rewrite that question as three over five times eight over six. Once we have rewritten the question, then we can go ahead and do exactly what we would have done for multiplying fractions. So again, remember with multiplying fractions, we had a couple of options. We could multiply the top numbers, and then we could simplify. So six goes into both of those. Six goes into that um, up four times, and six goes into that number five times. Or option two, we could look at that answer of 24, oh, sorry, nope, go back. We could look at this first step here, three over five times eight over six, and we could look to see what we could cancel. So we could say, for example, that the six and the three can cancel, and then the two and the eight can cancel, and we're left with one times four on top, and five times one on the bottom. Now for the example in B, it might be a little bit more difficult to see what the reciprocal of two is, but remember two can be written as two over one. So if we rewrote that as a multiplication problem, we would end up with four over seven times one over two. And then again, we could go ahead and just multiply four times one is four, seven times two is 14. And we could simplify, so two goes into both of those. Or, at this step here, so four over seven times one over two, we could look to cancel. So for example, the two and the four cancel, and we could go straight to two times one is two, and seven times one is seven. Now, there is a reason why um, division problems sort of turn into a multiplication problem and why dividing fractions is multiplying by a reciprocal. We've spent some time in class in previous years talking about the reasons for that. So this is just a quick review in terms of um, the mechanics of completing the question and calculating it. Um, but if you want more details as to the reasons why, please talk to your teacher about that um, and so that it makes perhaps more sense and you're not just blindly following a rule and it doesn't make 